So, so what, what this is really intended to do is to encourage uh, innovation in, in transport technology, uh, to get people excited about new forms of transport, um, things that may be completely different from what we, we see today, but to, but to really just get people to innovate and think about uh, doing things in a, in a, in a way that's uh, not, not just a repeat of the past, uh, but to explore the boundaries of physics and see what is really, really possible. And I think we'll find that it's way more incredible than, than we ever realized. Um, that, that's really the overarching purpose of, of this uh, Hyperloop competition. And um, yeah, and, and so we, we got the, I'm told this is like the, maybe the second biggest uh, vacuum chamber in the world after the Large Hadron Collider. So it's, uh, it's kind of exciting. Um, and then later today we'll see how fast the, the, uh, the pods can go. Um, and I think it's just going to get better and better uh, every year. Uh, I think it's ultimately going to be something that uh, inspires the world and, uh, re and, and results in, in real transportation technologies that uh, help people's lives and ma make them better. Um, and then, uh, as, as the um, Mayor Garcetti mentioned, uh, we, we started digging a hole. Um, so, um, yeah, there's on 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 Crenshaw, just in front of SpaceX uh, headquarters. There's there's a giant hole, um, and um, and I, I find holes uh, holes in the ground exciting. Um, uh, you know, uh, I was discussing this with my girlfriend. She didn't find it that exciting, um, but I, I thought it was really great. <laughs> um, so it's, it's it's right there. You can check it out. And the uh, so so that's going to be the start hole for the the tunnel boring machine. Um, and we're going to just try to figure out um, w what it takes to uh, improve uh, tunneling speed by um, I, th I think somewhere between 500 and 1,000 percent is I think possible. Um, so if you apply sort of a limit of physics approach. Um, so, the, so we'll, we'll see what the, what, what, how far we can get. So we're just sort of muddling along. We have no idea what we're doing. I want to be clear about that. <laughs> but we'll, we're going to get this machine, figure out, okay, take it apart. How do we um, make it go much faster um, while still being safe and not affecting people on, on the surface and, and all that? And um, yeah, we'll see how much progress we can make. But I'm, I'm actually quite optimistic that, um, that tunneling can be improved by at least fivefold, maybe tenfold, and um, and that's really key to to a lot of technologies: uh, road tunnels, uh, hyperloop tunnels, train tunnels, um, and because um, fundamentally you have to go 3D uh, if, in in a city. Uh, if you've got tall buildings, they're all 3D, and and then everyone wants to go go into the building and leave the building at the same time. So then on on a 2D road network, that obviously does not work. Uh, so you have to go 3D either up or down. And um, and I, th I think probably down, <laughs> so, um, and then uh, and then for longer distances, uh, things like the hyperloop and maybe, and, and, and other ideas. Um, so uh, you know, with with that, just like, like, once again, congrats to everyone. Um, amazed at, at what uh, the student teams have done. Uh, really, just blown my mind. And um, uh, may the best team win. Yeah. <laughs>